Gobit Tiger Reserve in the foothills of the Himalayas in Uttarakhand is India's oldest and one of the most significant protected areas. Although grasslands cover only 10% of the terrain here, they are crucial for the ecological balance of this precious wilderness. Grasslands are a lifeline in forest ecology. They provide nesting and hiding ground for animals and not only sustain herbivores and smaller animals that are critical to the food web, but also help protect soil, sequester carbon forming natural carbon sinks, and enable the recharging of springs and water bodies. One of the interesting restoration stories of Gobit is the Lal Dhang grassland in the Jhinnah zone. This was once a revenue village. But as the villagers were facing conflict with animals, 113 families were relocated in 2004. After the relocation, the abandoned agricultural fields were infested with invasive species, predominantly Lantana. Native to South America, Lantana was brought to India by the British as an ornamental plant over 200 years ago. Aggressively invasive, Lantana has spread across India from Mudumalai Tiger Reserve and Bandipur National Park in southern India all the way up till Corbett Tiger Reserve in the north. Lantana is not palatable and is observed to be hepatotoxic causing illness and sometimes death of animals that have grazed on it. The spread of Lantana is therefore likely to lead to forced migration or decline in the number of herbivores in Lantana invaded habitat. Lantana has replaced the grasslands in all our protected areas. The challenge to the park authorities or the authorities is how to bring back these grasslands. Until unless we remove Lantana or manage Lantana, it is impossible to bring back the native grasslands. In 2003-2004, under the supervision of Professor C. R. Babu, the cut root stock method was developed at Corbett Tiger Reserve for the removal of lantana and this started the restoration of areas encroached by it. What is cut root stock method? It is a technique through which lantana has to be cut below the root shoot junction, two to three inches under the soil. This has to be done carefully without disturbing the soil or chopping off the branches. The upper portion of the lantana is then put inverted so the stock portion does not make contact with soil and no further regeneration takes place. The dry stalks of lantana are later collected and burnt or reused. The best time to remove lantana is the peak of summer as its clumps bear no mature fruits in that period. The areas cleared of lantana are followed up for restoration for at least the next three years so the lantana does not grow back. The grassland is developed by planting grass species that enrich diversity and are palatable for herbivores. Training programs for management of lantana and development of grasslands have been conducted for the capacity building of the staff. A production manual has also been made for this purpose. In Laldhang, mainly three ways of planting grasses have been adapted. Seed broadcasting, 
grass seeds are cast across the land which is under restoration and allowed to germinate. Slips or rhizomes are also used to grow grass. A nursery has been developed to keep stock of the species which would be planted for the collection of seeds. July, the month of the monsoon, is a good time to plant natives. All the grasses that are planted here are native to the Corbett Tiger Reserve and they replicate the natural grass diversity of this habitat. Under native grasses, there are a few categories. Palatable grasses, which are eaten by herbivores. These grasses may be annual, they grow for a single season and die after seeding. Like Cumeria, Lovegrass and Apluda mutica. Perennial grasses grow and flower for many years. Some of the perennial species foraged on by deer and other herbivores are Dab, Dub and Bhabar. Khas is grazed upon by hog deer and Ghodia by Ghorals. Saccharums and Khel are favourites of elephants. There are non-palatable grasses which are not eaten by herbivores. These include Imperita cylindrica, Junad and lemongrass. These are some grasslands, tall grasslands. तो टॉल ग्रासलैंड्स में बहुत ज़्यादा बायोमास हो जाता है तो वो जब सूख जाता है गिर जाता है वो सुइसाइडल हो जाता है तो नेचर में जो है इसका कंट्रोल अलग अलग प्रकार से होता है एक तो ग्रेसिंग से हो जाता है बट अब जो है हम नेचर को अपने प्रोसेस फॉलो करने के लिए तो अलाउ नहीं करते हैं हर जगह हैबिटेशन हो गया जैसे कहीं बीच से रोड निकल गया केवल थोड़ा सा एरिया प्रोटेक्टेड एरिया हो गया कुछ कुछ जो बचा है उसी को बचा के रख रहे हैं इसलिए मैनेजमेंट करने की जरूरत पड़ रही है कि जहां ग्रासलैंड है उसको एस ग्रासलैंड मेंटेन करें। With time, the Laldhang grassland has begun to show signs of ecological recovery. Vines, herbs, grasses and small trees have started to appear, regenerating the natural grassland ecology. Here, in the heart of Corbett, the effort of the last decade has borne fruit. And that is the reason for the success in the, what you call, development of this. Professor C.R. Babu you and his team have managed to eradicate Lantana and successfully develop the grassland in an area of 500 hectares. Our aim is to develop the grassland. And the removal of the grassland is a step in the grassland. But after removing the grassland, the grassland is the most palatable grasses. This restoration has brought back the foraging ground for wild boars and deer, reviving the natural hunting grounds for carnivores. The instances of lifting of domestic cattle from surrounding villages have reduced, bringing down human-animal conflict. The added benefit is that the Jirna zone remains operational throughout the year for wildlife safaris, allowing for good tourist footfall. The revival of Laldhang is a victory for grassland conservation. It stands testimony that resolve and correct action can effectively trigger and sustain the restorative power of nature. <laughs>